Normally I would move it to its finished cake board, the covered cake board. I have a, a 12 by 18, or actually it's a, it's a full sheet cake board is what it is. I think it's bigger than that, but um, that I have covered and ready for this. But um, there's a way that I'm gonna put this on the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it right now. While the fondant is soft, I'm gonna take my mat, which just happens to be the same size as my cake. It didn't have to be, because you can always repeat it, you know, if you got a bigger cake. That just happens to be the same size as my cake. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and decide if I want that or that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this here, just like so. And I want the way that this is done, the Hieroglyphics need to be um, chipped into the stone, not raised up. So I make sure that my mat is um, going to push into my fondant and not my fondant squishing up. And I'm going to take my rolling pin and press. I could use the smoother too. And then I can decide if I want to use this top part or not, which I am. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep it up. I didn't get it on there quite straight, but that's okay. Make sure I get it somewhat in these. You don't want to get all the way down in your little crease there though because that part broke away, remember? Okay, I need to press it again a little bit. I'll end up with a, with a double image, but I can do it. You really got to press it down. This part didn't quite get pressed enough. because of the cake. Okay, let's see if this is good. No, we need to get this a little bit more. Just press it in. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I've got my hieroglyphics in there. Now, now I've got that done, I can relax for a few minutes, move this aside. And show you another way to get those hieroglyphics. Get this out of the way. 